guys, it's your boy Alex and welcome back to the Brave Lionheart channel and we are back with some more reaction videos today for you guys. Yeah! Sorry, that almost broke my voice at the start of it for some reason. But yes, we are back with some more reaction videos and once again, if you couldn't tell from the title of the video, which it's going to be down there or basically up there if you're watching this on full screen and you know how it works. But yes, today we're reacting to Super Mario Brothers Z again. But more specifically, we're reacting to the reboot of the second episode. Yeah, recently this year, Alvin Earthworm uh, decided he is going to remake uh, episode two. Uh, well, he already did. I don't know if he's, you know, gonna be able to reboot all the other episodes and maybe possibly this could lead to an episode nine of the series. I'm not sure, but we'll see what happens in the future. And yes, back on my old channel, I did do a reaction to the first uh, reboot, or to the first episode that got rebooted. Uh, yeah, if you guys want me to uh, react to that, let me know in the comments section of this video and I will try and get to that. See if I can, basically. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's not waste any time and let's jump right into the video. All right, we got the video set up and we are ready to dive right into this. It's honestly really good to see that Alvin Earthworm is sort of continuing on his project of Super Mario Bros. Z, though he's just rebooting all the old episodes. So I don't know, maybe we'll possibly get an episode 9 in the future if he decides to come back to this. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. But anyway, with that being said, let's dive right into the episode. So... Let's dive right into Super Mario Bros. Z, Episode 2, the reboot, and let's just get started. So, start the video in 3, 2, 1, and let's go. And no, I wasn't going to do that Mario thing. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Nintendo! Sega! I'm surprised they didn't bring back the, uh, guy that shouts a lot. You know, the, SEGA! Or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I actually do remember uh, uh, this intro from when they rebooted episode one. Uh, this is this is such a typical anime intro. It's awesome though. Sonic, Shadow. And Peach just watching, being a bystander, of course. <laughs> oh, nice 3D castle you got there, Bowser. Alright, we got the Koopalings in this. And of course, Eggman. I think I just saw Gino there, and the Koopa Bros. Oh yeah, the redesign for Mecha Sonic. Oh, I forgot about episode 8, when it had that, uh, oh, I forgot his name, I think it was Basilisk his name was, and no, it's not, it's not, I think it is a referencing term for that. You guys will probably know what I'm talking about, I'm just tongue-tied today. Yeah, we got Fire Mario. This is so awesome. Oh man. Really such a great intro. What's really interesting about it is that like it plays out like like a typical anime intro, which is really cool. I also did notice uh at the beginning of it when they started the song, there was just a bunch of guys shouting, Do the Mario! Or something like that. Ooh, he's standing on top of the blue mountains, so you know that's not a good sign. Oh boy. <sighs> yep. I go find the other six. Um. 
And now this is just at the point where I'm thinking again, yeah, Mechasonic is basically perfect Cell, or basically Cell from the Cell Saga of Dragon Ball Z, wanting to get his perfect form. I was also going to say that uh, whenever I do episode one reboot, if I ever re react to that, I'm going to have to like probably cut out the intro, uh, you know, just in case. Oh, wait, so this is the this is the castle from uh, Super Mario sixty four. Sweet. <laughs> I, th I thought Sonic was whistling at Peach. Mario would not have liked that. Although then again, who am I kidding? You know, Peach doesn't really care about Mario, so hey, Sonic can have her. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. I do like those occasional bits of, like, voices. Though, think about it, if they could have, like, gone the whole way and did voice acting for this entire series, that actually would have been cool to see. You know, considering the fact that you specifically were looking for Mario and Luigi, so I'm pretty sure that qualifies for you to tell them exactly what is happening, why you're here, and why you're looking for the Chaos Emeralds. Just, that thought never occurred to you, Shadow? Again, clearly not. It doesn't really occur to him. Just at least get it over with. Um. Of course, Toadsworth wouldn't really know. Hmm. They're not gonna know either! end up losing a lot of friends there. I do wonder if at some point, since this is a reboot, they are going to get to that straight away. Talking about their friends being killed by Mechasonic. Probably not. Just get it over with! Guess we're cutting really straight to Bowser's castle. <laughs> of course. How did he even break his foot? I don't even know. Oh, what's up, Kamek? Blark tail soup. The frick is a blark tail? Oh, <laughs> that at least got a laugh out of Junior. Wait, is that? Hold on! Oh, Bowser, he mad. But hold on! There's no way that's... No, that's Silhouette. That's him. Dr. Evil Robot, the greatest scientific genius in the world. Okay. It's a little... Weird translation for that, but I'm pretty sure it was always Dr. Ivo Robotnik. But wait, how is he already here? He doesn't appear until, like, 
way, way later in the series, a late episode to team up with Bowser. I'm guessing they wanted to get this out of the way instantly. In episode two, no matter... I don't even know, but... That was, a, that was a weird translation for that. But I always remembered it being Ivo, not Evo. But call me Eggman. You know, again, I could be wrong on that. You guys can let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong on that. Uh-huh. I'm just probably going to count how many egg puns that Bowser does in this episode. If you mentioned destroying Mario, Bowser will always be interested. Well, that's not good! Shiny. <laughs> what was that voice? Let's not forget that uh, Mecha Sonic's on loose, so he's gonna kill you, Eggman. He is going to kill you. Oh boy. And again, let me reiterate. Now that you have one of the Chaos Emeralds, uh, Robotnik, or Eggman, you're going to die! Mecha Sonic's gonna kill you. Although, technically in the original series, I believe in episode 3, I believe, you ended up dying by him because he blew up your death egg. I forgot how stupid that was, freaking death egg. You know, George Lucas is gonna, or whoever new director is gonna sue somebody for that. But anyway, let's actually get back into, well, let's get into the backstory of the Chaos Emeralds. If they could have just done, like, a simple short sentence instead of, like, going into the whole origin of their world and the Chaos Emeralds. Whoa, wait, 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 Shadow and Eggman are telling the story? Okay, I guess that does make sense, because Eggman's explaining it to Bowser, Shadow's explaining it to uh, everyone in the Mushroom Kingdom. Or more specifically, Mario in them. They shall rip off the powers of going Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball Z! Yeah, that always was a weird thing, that they would... Uh, oh wow, that's some really good shading on Shadow right there. That's almost like something from Sonic X, I think. <laughs> I love that noise Toadsworth does. Blah, 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 blah. I can't do impressions anymore. aren't even paying attention! They're just having their own little conversation in the background! Oh, yeah. You know they're gonna help! Yeah. Let's move it. You know they can't run as fast as you! Then why did you come, Shadow? God, again, Shadow is gonna be the Vegeta of this series. Uh, 
I believe Mecha Mario, I presume, or possibly Metal Mario, if they're going with that term. No! What, you actually bringing them in? <laughs> they did not! They literally did not! Although technically, red should have Raphael's weapons because he's wearing red. But then again, red is the leader, so it makes sense that they're giving him the katanas like Luke. I can't believe they're actually doing this! So I guess this is where they were first actually introduced instead of episode 3. I guess it makes sense that, like, they did say that Bowser did hire them to find them, but... I don't know, we didn't really need to go to, like, them just being introduced there. But it works, I guess. Oh my gosh. Kudos to you, Alvin Earthworm, for doing a, a literal, literal Ninja Turtles reference. You know, he just called it Chaos Emerald. Actually say what it is instead of just saying Gemstone. Wow, the animations are actually pretty good right here. Oh, okay, that was actually creepy. <laughs> yeah, I really like the fact that I reference Super Mario Bros. 64 with the castle, but then they do that freaking Bowser game over screen when you die or like when you get sent out of a world. I know, it's just when you die in a world. I don't know, it's been a while since I've played Super Mario 64, but gosh dang it, that's a nice little reference. So yeah, the Koopa Bros. Uh, they don't usually appear until episode 3 of Super Mario Bros. Z, but I guess they wanted to show them off early. I mean, technically we did see them in the intro, uh, so that counts also. Yeah! Gosh dang it. Shadow, you know how to ruin a good time. Luigi would have been a good partner for you, man! Mm. Yeah, yeah. Hey! My boy Yoshi! Never mind! Yoshi is a better partner for Luigi than Shadow. You hear that, Shadow, you stupid hedgehog? Yeah, I don't think he heard me. But then again, but then again, this is episode two, so we know exactly what's gonna happen to uh, Yoshi in this episode. Of course, the Wario's are back. So, what do you got planned now? Um, you playing charades? Why is it so blurry? <laughs> Come on, wait. That's how Wario sees Mario. Yeah, okay. If they didn't show, again, in the original episode of episode two, they show that the Warios snuck into the castle to listen to their plan. How exactly did they hear of their plan in this reboot of the episode? They weren't anywhere near it, or I guess probably because they were in the bushes, they somehow heard about the Chaos Emeralds. I don't know, I'm trying to put logic into this, but it's a Mario video. You can't really put logic into the world of Super Mario Brothers. Then again, you can't really put any type of logic into the games. Uh, did you just freaking eat that whole thing? Well, your digestive tract is going to be real messed up, Wario. Oh, that's nice. Referencing Super Mario World. Oh, hey, it's the uh, Blue Yoshi. Crap, I forgot his name. I saw him in another uh, Super Mario Sprite series I reacted to. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below what this one's name is, because I forgot his name. Please tell me they actually kept the piranha plant in uh, this episode. Um, you could have kicked it. 
And now you're dead. Oh, never mind. You just got a mouthful of apples. Ooh, four different colored pipes. Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 What happened there? <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's awesome. Wait, this is the pipe that's gonna have him. Oh crap. <laughs> you got some serious gingivitis there, man. Yeah, there it is! Bring a friggin' rig a battle strut of frig. I love that little reference they did to Looney Tunes. Oh, that's not gonna that's not gonna be good! Ouch! Why is this episode already making me laugh? I'm enjoying this already too much. Yeah, good job, Luigi. Bravo. Now grab it before someone else does. You can do your little dance. Oh, crap. Well, this is not good. No, come on, that's cheating. Hurry up, Yoshi, go help him! Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is not gonna go well. Jeez. Oh crap! <laughs> I forgot he does that as his assist trophy move! Oh, crap. <laughs> the NAA sound effects, I love that. Oh, that's new. I like that Waluigi has his own dancing look. <laughs> nice little Jurassic Park reference there. Uh-oh. Oh, that can't be good. Ba -ba. I'm sorry, I, I had to. And then again, you could have used a tennis racket, but that's from another series, so yeah. <laughs> Did the mom love them? Grab it. Grab it. Yoshi could have grabbed it with his tongue! Uh... Yeah. Didn't really think that through, did ya? Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, you could have done that before, Yoshi! <laughs> Those Ed Ed Eddie punch sound effects, I love them! Oh no, that's Mecha Sonic. That's not good. <laughs> Stop! My appendix is gonna burst if you make me laugh anymore. Hmm? Hmm? <gasps> no! Grab a Luigi! Grab him! Get him! Crap! Just missed it. <sighs> Great. Oh, <laughs> he's, tr he's trying to do his little fly move to get back up there. Oof. Oh, <laughs> that is such a 2004 movie joke. 
Or more of a 2004 uh, comedy movie joke. Grab it before someone else does. Oh, crap. All the music! So, if I remember correctly, Yoshi barely survives this encounter. The fight he's gonna have with Mecha Sonic. Though, I feel like they're gonna give Yoshi more of a chance in this reboot. Considering he has a Chaos Emerald. Then again, he gets the crap kicked out of him really bad. You hold on tight to that emerald, Yoshi. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh crap! Wait, wait, ah! You can't do that! You can't do that to me! Gosh dang it! I feel like this is where I should have cut it if they were gonna do that. Wow. Okay, that's clever to do a commercial cut. Oh! That sucker punch! Oh! That's a lot of damage. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it! There you go. Oh, he mad. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> oh, I don't like that laugh. Jeez, Mecha Sonic. All right, Yoshi. That egg shield is cool, but it's not going to protect you for long. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. The missiles. Whew. Oh, crap. Oh no, that's not gonna survive that! Oh, right on his back! Nah, my boy Yoshi ain't done that quick. Uh, okay, we're just gonna cut away from that and cut to Sonic and Mario! And Shadow! Yeah, I figured. Eh, yeah, not too good. him, but I guess he doesn't. What? That's the one thing they understood? Missiles? Yep, Shadow's being reckless again. Like always. Should you be saving those for the Koopa Bros? Not... Well, then again, you're probably going to need a lot of power-ups for Mecha Sonic, so... Makes sense to get him out early. 
Oh, my boy, Yosh. Come on, Yoshi. Um, we didn't need an inside look at Yoshi's insides. Did he go Super Yoshi? Yeah, I think he went Super Yoshi. Oh, big mistake. Ha! <laughs> yeah, there was an energy blast in that. Yeah, he's mad now. Ooh, that headbutt! Let's go! There you go, Yoshi! Oh, that tail smack, though. Woo! Oh. Is he doing a take on the Hell Zone grenade from Piccolo? Maybe not. Oof. Okay, now this is awesome. Missing every hit. Oh, this is so awesome! Oh, oh, right in the schnoz! Dang. Oh. Wait, it was a, ah, it was a distraction. Oh, see my boy Yoshi's, Yoshi's making strategies. Round and round we go. Oof, yeah, <laughs> my boy Yosh, he has got it down. And then again, oh crap. Oh, he's powering up with his, the emerald he has. Yeah. Oh, no, keep it in there, keep it in there. Oh. Yeah, now Yoshi's getting a beat down. Oh, crap. Oh. That looked like it hurt. Oh my gosh! Dang, man! Oof. Oh, that is not good. The music is really good, too. Oh! <laughs> nice! Oh no. Oh, I see he's got a black <laughs> he's got a black eye! Oh Yoshi! Oh <laughs> Okay, this actually could be a bad idea. Needed to power up. <laughs> nope. Throw it. Throw it. Woo. Well. Wow. That that was crazy. Dang it! Really, it really could do that much damage. Oh, my boy Yoshi, he got a black eye. And then again, yeah, he's, he is not, he's not dead. He is not done. <laughs> the eyes! <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. That is terrifying. All oh, the animation style on him. Oh, Yoshi, my, my boy. Oh, no. Yeah, he did this before. Oh. Gosh. Oh, I 
I love the music, though. Oof. Oh, yeah, he did this. Holy crap. No! That little music change, that is so cool! Oh. Dang! I need a minute to talk about that. <sighs> okay. That was an amazing fight scene. I really loved how well that turned out. That, that, the action was great, the pacing, the animation was incredible. And think of, this is all done with sprites and like 3D backgrounds. Like just think of that. And some like animated backgrounds. This, wow. Alvin, Earthworm, you, you did an amazing job. And again, with like Smash Infinity, what he's doing with the series, these two are probably the best, like, sprite animators you would want to see on YouTube. Wow. But yeah, like I said, Yoshi gets a beat down in this episode. I mean, just think about it. He, he pulled out some pretty good moves and actually got a couple of good hits on Mecha Sonic, but... Dang, Yoshi got it bad. Whew. I mean, it's a good thing that he's not dead, at least. That's... That's a positive we can take from this. <sighs> yeah. He got two. Yeah, my boy's still alive! Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, that is not good. Oof. But yeah, I feel like Yoshi, without the Emerald's power, I think... Yoshi would be able to handle Mecha Sonic, but then again... Oh, no! Don't choke him out! Oh my boy, Yoshi, don't choke him! Stop it! Stop! Oh, hearing those gasping noises. Yeah! Come on, boys! Wait, can he speak to the Chaos Emeralds? Okay, that's something different if that's what he's referring to, like, whoever he's talking to. Or just himself, I guess. <sighs> oh, don't go blaming Sonic! Yeah! Your fault, Shadow! Come on, guys. Too late for that now!
Yeah, as you should. Boy, Yosh. Yeah, put his arm over the shoulder. Well, there you go, guys. That was my reaction to episode two. Well, the episode two reboot of Super Mario Brothers Z. And I really did enjoy that reboot. It got me laughing a couple times at stuff that I didn't really think was like super funny. But it got me laughing. That's a good thing. And even though it was like one, well, technically two, there were the chase with the Wario Brothers counts as an action scene. But then again, we had possibly still one of my favorite fight scenes from the original Super Mario Bros. Z. This reboot had more action stuff in it, but it was a great fight scene. Loved how it was animated. Really loved the action. And surprisingly, they did let Yoshi get a couple more hits on Mecha Sonic, which was a good thing. They had to give Yoshi at least a fighting chance against Mecha Sonic. And... Who knows? Hopefully, Alvin Earthworm will continue rebooting the old episodes. And again, maybe my theory might be right that possibly we could get episode 9 of the series just in the style that he's doing now, which honestly would be awesome to see him continue Super Mario Bros. Z because it got really super popular. Like, when I first started watching it, it was, like, really, really popular. And then... But again, my theory might be wrong and Alan might just end up rebooting up to episode 8 and again, he might be done with the series. But again, Alvin Earthworm, if you're watching this video right now, it would be so cool to see you continue this series because you're amazing. You're really talented at sprite animation. You do such an amazing job. So really would be awesome to see you continue this series with the style you're going with now with rebooting these episodes. So, then again, it would be awesome. All right, with that being said, yeah, I'm kind of sweating right now because it's hot and everything when I recorded this, something like that. But anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell to never miss a new video. And I will see you awesome fans later. Bye-bye.